hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good in today's video i will walk you through setting up the docusign integration enabling you to automate your document signing process so if you are curious about integrating e-signature solutions you are in the right place so let's get started all right so let's get started by creating a developer account first things first you need to log into your docusign account if you have one if you don't have one you need to visit developers.docusign.com so this is the link which we are looking for as soon as you click that you will see a developer account button on top right corner of the screen okay on click of which you will see two options login and create account if you already have an existing account you can go with login option if you don't have one and want to create an account you can go for create account okay as soon as you click that you will be navigated to this page where you can create your free developer account and they have also mentioned that no obligation no credit card required you can get your free developer account you just have to fill in the required details and you should be good to go since i already have an existing account i'm gonna go back to the previous page and log into my account by entering the credentials and here i need to input my email id okay and then the password and if the provided credentials are correct it will let you in once you are in this is the home page where you will be landed now we need to set up the integration to do so you need to navigate to the admin section okay we will need to create an integration key navigate to the admin section wherein you see a couple of options like my apps and keys developer contact sign out okay you need to click my apps and keys and it will navigate you to this page which has everything you may need for the connection it has user id api account id account base uri okay and it also has an instruction which says when building a docusign integration you must create an app and integration key so to get an integration key we need to create an app click on this button to create one okay this is going to be the app we will be working on now here you need to provide a name to your app let's call it docusign integration and click create app button okay as soon as you click that button an app will get created and an integration key gets generated as you can see here under general info you have your app name and right below that you have your integration key which you need to copy to a safe location all right now scroll a bit down and under authentication we have something called secret keys okay we need one for setting up the integration with appian to get one you need to click this add secret key button and as soon as you click that a secret key gets generated and make sure to store your key in a safe place to avoid losing access because what happens is like once you save a changes the secret key gets masked okay and you cannot retrieve it again so it's very important to copy it before saving or you will have to generate a new one if you lose it okay then we have this redirect uris let me just give you all a quick overview of redirect uris which is also known as a callback url which is very important when we work with OAuth authentication. Okay, it's a URL to which users are redirected after they have authenticated with DocuSign and authorized your application to access their data. And it must be registered in your DocuSign application settings, which ensures that only requests from your application can receive the authorization code. Okay. I'll return to this section later when configuring things in Appian. Now we are good to save our changes okay, by clicking the save button or if you want to edit something like you want to update your secret key or you want to regenerate your secret key okay, you can do so by ed editing this app. Okay, Just click this action and you will see an edit button over there. So now let's switch to Appian and configure some things there. In Appian, we need a connected system which allows us to easily connect to external systems. Okay, so I'm in the designer view of my application. Here we have a button called new. You need to click this and select the type of object you want to create. 
from the designer menu we need a connected system if you can see here we have some pre-built connected systems which Appian has provided just to make it easier for us to connect to some of the most common systems so you can choose from these options and here we also have this DocuSign you need to select this as we are going to connect Appian with DocuSign right now provide a name to it and a description to have a common understanding of this object I'm calling it AS DocuSign integration okay now we have this authentication section over here where we have three forms of authentication available basic authentication authorization code grant and JWT grant so we will be using authorization code grant which has properties like instance URL, API account ID, integration key, secret key and DocuSign environment. Instance URL is used to just configure your integration object. Next we have API account ID which is a required field and to find fun you need to go to the account screen in DocuSign. Under integrations click apps and keys. Okay. After that, we have integration key, which is again a required field. And to find one, you need to go to the account screen in DocuSign. Under users and groups, click users and select a user. Then we have secret key, which is a required field. And you can find it in the apps and keys page of your app. And last but not the least, we have DocuSign environment, which is again a required field. This is either DocuSign development or production. There is an instruction right below this drop down and it says copy this redirect URL callback URL and use it to register this connected system with the protected resource. So we have to copy this URL and paste it in redirect URI field under additional settings offer app. Okay. So to access one you need to first edit this app by clicking this action button and just scroll a bit down you will see this additional settings section wherein you have to paste in your url cool but while pasting you need to be a little mindful because by default it takes some white space at the start of the url and because of that it throws an error saying that invalid input if you have noticed as soon as i removed the white space the error disappeared okay so just be little mindful okay and then save your changes all right so now let's just configure these properties one by one first one is instance url which is right here i have copied it and now i'm gonna paste in here okay this is done next we have ap account id which can be found in apps and keys page which is here I have copied it and now I'm gonna paste in here cool this is also done let's move on to the next property which is integration key this can also be found in the apps and keys so you have your app created wherein you can see the integration key just copy it and paste it right here okay after that we have secret key this you can find within your app looks like it is already masked and i forgot to copy it so we'll have to regenerate a new one okay so i will do that by clicking this add secret key button and as soon as i click it a new secret key gets generated which i have copied and now i'm gonna save my changes and use it for setting up the connection okay and last we have this docusign environment so as this is a developer account so i will have to select development okay so we have provided everything needed for setting up the connection and now it's time to authorize it by clicking the authorize button which is on the extreme bottom of this screen. After you authorize you will be taken to a page where you can allow or deny access and if you allow access you are confirming that you give your consent for the integration. So once you grant access the two applications should be able to communicate and work together. Okay, so we are running into this error. That's interesting. 
Now what I'll do, I'll try to reauthorize it and see if it goes away. No, it doesn't. So if you encounter such errors on your first attempt, I would say make sure to double check the configuration settings. I have already done that and everything looks good to me, but nothing seems to work out. Now what I think is creating a new app for the integration is a good next step. Okay, I will have to do the same exercise again like create a new app, create a new integration key, secret key and then provide the redirect URI and all. So this time I'm calling my new app DocuSign integration 2. Have generated my integration key. I'm gonna copy it and gonna paste in there. Okay, and now it's time to generate a secret key. Okay, that will be a new one. And your AP account ID and account base URI will remain same. And integration key and secret key differ from application to application. For every application, there will be different keys. So this is something which we need to update. And now I have to provide the redirect URI. Cool. This looks good. And now it's time to save our changes and authorize the connection. Okay. So you will have to again allow access for the app which you have newly created. And guess what? This time it says authorization successful. Time to celebrate. So that wraps up today's session. We successfully set up the connection between DocuSign and Appian. And in the next video, we will explore how to set up the integration and leverage this connection for our applications. If you have any question or need clarification on anything, just drop a comment below in the comment section. I will be happy to guide you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more such tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.